basic program you go into ProDraw. Okay, then from here, now we can put in our dimensions either up here. Okay. And that'll show it on the actual drawing itself, Brent. Yeah, that's right. So now you can see where the, the lines are going. We can see here we've got our positions, um, our angles. And now you can see we've got 90s, 90s here, to the same up here. This one here says negative because you're turning the sheet upside down. All right. Um, what you can also do is uh, you might want to make that that one there say uh, 45. So it changes the angle here. All right. You can also go through and we can change the the sequence of the bend. So we can say we want we want to start maybe here at number three. So now we've made number three, number one. Okay. So we can go one. So you can choose your, choose your bend sequence. One, two, three, four, mm. or, or change it around. So now it's it's changed here. Okay. But that, that will not work because see you can see there's a crash. Alright. So we can undo and start again. We might want to start number two. Uh, there and then that should now change it so there so now we've altered it around all right uh, from there download on, on on some on some bending jobs um, your bend pattern uh, won't always work in one two three four five six so you need to change your bend sequence. Maybe yeah. this one first, this one, this one, back to this one, to make sure that uh, there's no there's no hitting. Okay. Yeah. 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 So you don't want it to crash, and also it'll tell you when you need to turn your sheet upside down yeah. or or around. So that's why the, the graphical interface is very good here. Then you can have it. Uh, you download. Press start. The back gauge comes in the first position. Now we're in auto here, so in auto we can just clamp, get our automatic start. Stefan, jump in with Brett. Yeah, he's training. So we've done our first, now this one will move. So again, we can clamp it from here or from here, yeah. and the same as we can we can press it from here or from here. Alright, up 45. Now what it will do is it tell us to turn the sheet because we've got the angle. So again. Up. And see here it's actually set to uh, go to A, so it's using the front finger for the back gauge. If we had a really long length there, that would be saying B. Yeah, so just explain to Stefan again the, the fingers. We, yeah, we have two, two back gauge finger positions, there's A and there's B. So there's A for the, the shorter one, Brett, yep. and then B, B, for, B the for the longer, longer one. Yeah. Yeah. So at the moment now we're, we're back on A, it's saying there. If I was to turn around and edit this length here, the 220, make that say uh, 45. And now when it comes to this one here, it'll more than likely, it's either gonna tell us to turn the sheet, yeah, or it'll have us to work from the back one. working from the front stop, but it was smart.
Now the back gauge should in theory go out. Got still on the small one, still on A. And now it's gone to B. Okay. There. So now it's got it's got the B there at number two to explain to you to use the second finger. So that's because, like I said, with the back gauge, we have the first stop and the second stop. So I think it's over 500 to use the second stop. Yeah, so right. the length's over 500, the back gauge shows a B position, B. and then under 500... It works uh, off the A position. It works off the A position for the back gauge. All right, but it does give you the, the visual reference so that you know. Um, the same as with the bends, you can actually step through if you need to redo one. If you go back... Select which bend you want to start from. All right, because you might do half a bend and go, oh, it's no good. Take the material. You can start from the same place again. All right. That's that's basically the the easy part of it all. Once you've got your library full or saved, there's some bends already there. So in this case, we can turn around and say, all right, we want to do this job. There's our job. If you want, you can again, like I did before, we can edit. So we can turn around and make these lengths. That's now longer. Mm -hmm. All right. And the same with your angles. So maybe here on this one here, you might want to put again a 45. Uh, Brett, is there any, um, with, compared to the press brake, because we have a, a press brake, those big machines yeah. in the back, they have a very simple program. It's just yeah. but there's more more features on the press brake because you have tensile strength, you have length, all those things. Is there any tens tensile strength? There isn't. In no, these? no. In the in this, what we do have is you have the ability to correct our angles in here. All right. Uh, we've told it our material thickness here is two millimeters. All right. So we can actually turn around. You know, you might want that to be uh, 1.6. And it just allows a bit of a compensation there, but we'd change them all. And here on the angle, if we wanted to, we can turn around and put either a five degree positive or negative correction, yeah. depending on depending on how much how much you actually need. So, um, the bends over, yeah. bends less. Yeah. 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 Um, all right, um, you can actually name your drawing here. So, you know, we can turn around. Yeah, so you can name your jobs as, as customs jobs. Okay, so now... Well, same as in emails and uh, we'll save the folders too, so... All right. So because we didn't save, it's not there. So you always have to remember to save. All right, two, three, save. Yes. Now when we want. So test three. Okay. So now there's the job there. Mm. All right. And the, the memory, hundreds and... Yeah, yeah so. it has... Uh, so what happens is once this page fills, then you can go up, down, more pages, more pages. All right? Mm. Um, I think it'll hold, it'll hold five, five by three, so you've got 15. And I think then you've got uh, about five pages. But you'll find generally you're always only doing particular styles of bend and particular types of jobs. So they'll be the main ones that you save. And what we do, what I tell some customers is just for the sake of, of jobbing, it's easier sometimes just to have only one bend. So you know that with your guys, if you turn around, wrong button, Brett. You might just turn around and say, all right,
you might just want to save that. All right. Change the name. So now what you know is that what we can do is our 45 there, all right? So you can just have a simple 45 and 90 saved in to make it easier for your operators as well. And, and with that one there, what some people will do is they'll put the back gauge all the way away and just use the old method of mark the line and clamp the machine. What we'll do though, Dave, is we'll, um, I'll grab a bit of material and we'll um, run through a bend. Okay. Yep. And um, we'll go from there, so mm. we'll just get it set up. Yeah, I think so. Do we need to set the cams? Um, no, I was holding you. Was it? Oh, very close to the Yeah, okay. All right. All right. Beautiful. We'll do that then. Um, Just so you can see what's going on. Can anyone have a link in here? Yeah. We haven't cut this material exactly to the right length, but we'll just go through for the sake of it. Alright? Auto, up. So Brett, is that going to push that forward? Yeah, that will now open. It'll yeah. now push it forward. Okay. In that case, we can put correction in there to make it tighter. So now it's folded to turn the sheet. I think that bread is it. It's now from the A finger, which is the closer finger.
it's easy enough to get your bends correct. And if you want to do, we can sit there and 